Matrix. And of course, we have to start with the visitors getting started very quickly with them. And it's Patricia Bienmuno getting started, the native of Cartagena in Spain. She's accompanied by her partner from Murcia, Sally Martinez. There you go. From Sevilla, Gonzalo Rubio. And also from Sevilla, Mario de Castillo. Hello, welcome back to the Pro Paddle League. Welcome back to the Park Barnes Tennis Center in San Diego for the, uh, what is this, the third matchup of the day already as the Las Vegas Smash take on the Arkansas Matrix. It is uh, uh, a good matchup indeed as uh, the Las Vegas Smash look to come back after losing uh, by three games to nil yesterday. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Arkansas Matrix winning by three to nil yesterday against the Houston Vaults. So that's uh, definitely something to look forward to here. We're going to start with the women's match. And it sees uh, Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso on the side of the Las Vegas Smash taking on Patti Aguno and Ara Mar. My name is Nicholas Quarles, and for everyone, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Ceci Reiter alongside me. Ceci, uh, welcome back, and uh, welcome again here to, uh, to the Barnes Tennis Center. A great matchup we have here. We've got two former number ones of the world out on the court, and an exciting matchup. What do you make of it? Yes, uh, as you said, we will have a great match uh, coming up next. Uh, we can see that Arkansas have changed uh, their female yeah. pair because uh, Kata ended yesterday with some problems in uh, her knee. So today will be Araceli Martinez joining Patti Yaguno in this uh, tough challenge that they have today because we all know that Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso will be a really competitive pair. Mm. Today they have shown yesterday their, uh, their possibilities Finally, they were defeated by Aranza and Gemma Triay, but they started dominating the game in the first set. And uh, Arkansas have shown that they are a very reliable team. They have a strength in, uh, in having uh, solid couples, just as Patti, in this case with Araceli, and in the male case, Gonzalo Rubio and Mario del Castillo, that will play together then in the male matchup. Yeah, like you said, Marta Ortega and uh, Alejandra Alonso yesterday winning that first set against Aranza Osoro and Yematri, but ultimately losing out in uh, the super tie break then. And uh, also yesterday, Patti Aguno and Cata Tenorio winning in straight sets against Claudia uh, Fernandez and Lorena Rufo. A swap then, Cata Tenorio out, uh, Ara Martinez in. Can you talk to a little bit about us, uh, about Ara Martinez, normally a left-sided player, of course? Yes, but she's used to play both sides of the court today, of course, playing alongside Patti. She's uh, occupying the, the right side. She's a very aggressive player. She likes uh, always to play a very fast shots. She has a very good bibera, likes playing near the net. But uh, I think that that will be perhaps the key of this match, you know, that cross court over between Martita Ortega and uh, Araceli, because we all know that Patti will be try to impose her rhythm. Uh, she will try to slow down the the rhythm of the of the match, like she did yesterday alongside Kata. Today she has absolutely a different partner um, at her right, because Araceli likes playing faster than Kata. No, that would be a challenge for them, no, to balance. Uh, that speed that both need to get their best level. Is that the key to the match then, do you think? Whoever can control the tempo of the game can uh, run out victorious here? 
Of course, if uh, Marta and Alejandra are uh, the ones who can impose their speed, their high speed level, um, for sure, for me, they will get the victory, no? But in this kind of conditions, Nico, we have seen uh, yesterday also, the wind is blowing, we have shadows on court, mm. um, and it's not easy to play so fast. So the capacity of them to adapt to this kind of conditions uh, will be uh, for sure the, the key of the match. Let's see what happens then. This is the, the first matchup of uh, the day after the men's match will be between Gonzalo Rubio and Mario del Castillo for Arkansas. And then for Las Vegas, it will be Pablo Cardona and Gonzalo Alfonso who, making, who is making his debut for Las Vegas uh, today. Yes, a great reinforcement for, Ar for Las Vegas. Gonzalo came from Marbella, just as Tolito Aguirre. Yeah. He was a uh, champion in the A1 paddle, celebrated there, and he flied straight to LA to here to San Diego to play with his team. We heard you talking about uh, Pateguna and what she, br she brings to the table, the 2013 number one of the world. Can you talk to us a little bit about the other number one of the, uh, of the world uh, on court in Marta Ortega on the right-hand side for Las Vegas? Yes, Mata has grown a lot uh, since uh, she started perhaps being a very defensive player and right now in the last two or three years she's, she has been developi developing uh, her style and um, she has added many weapons, many aggressive weapons to, to her style of playing. Um, for example, she used to play almost uh, all only bandejas and right now she has one of the most powerful beaveras on tour. For me, her main um, characteristic is that she's so fast that she can uh, play for many hours at the same level. No, she's a very reliable uh, right side uh, player, and that's why she have reached the top. No, being a, a very a very worker player at the right side of court, more classical perhaps than others. In that left side, a duel uh, between Alejandro Alonso and Pati Aguno, very different breeds of player, almost, in the sense that uh, Alonso very much more attacking and uh, smashing. And Diaguno, one of those players that uh, is almost it is horrible to play against, isn't it? Because she always has one more trick up her sleeve, always has one more uh, thing she can conjure up and one more ball she can put in your court. Yes, today and this morning, we have the pleasure to have Patti here with us in the, in the streaming. And uh, as we said, she's old school paddle, no? And she's the example that the old school paddle is still um, works, no, uh, to win matches. Uh, she is very desperating for playing against Patty, especially outdoor, because uh, she seems not to be affected by the wind, you know? She has a, an absolutely special GPS, and she can put the ball where she wants, where she wants at any time. So. <coughs> Uh, playing against her it could be really frustrating. Yeah, meanwhile, over on court two, we have uh, on the, the grandstand court, we have the other match uh, going on in that encounter between the Cancun Waves and Miami Paddle Club. That's going on over there. And here we're focusing on the smash taking on the Matrix, the uh, two teams out on court right now. Like we Good said, uh, the, the men's, the the men's uh, matchup match is Gonzalo Alfonso and Pablo Cardona against Gonzalo Rubio Las and Mario Vegas del Castillo. And if it should come down to it, the mixed Miami. double will be uh, between Marta Ortega and Gonza Alfonso against Inigo Jofre and Cata Tenorio. Yes, Nico, and uh, it would be a very important matchup for Las Vegas because they are going for their first victory this week. No, yesterday they were defeated, as you said, by the Florida Goats, uh, and today they are going for their first win. Yeah, if they want to uh, book their ticket to New York to the to that final. Uh, event where only the top eight teams qualify. They'll have to start winning sooner rather than later. But winning is what uh, a player like Marta Ortega has done her entire career. She is uh, practicing her smashes here. The two number ones standing on the courts. Ortega yesterday and Alonso looked in a red hot form, especially Marta Ortega at the, in the start of that match against the Flow Rider Goats, against uh, Aranta Osoro and Yema Triay. 
Let's, let's see how Araceli can adapt herself to playing today at the right side of the court alongside Patti. And what's the strategy for them now to, to contain, to, to hold on the speed that probably Marta and Alejandra will try to give to the match? That's next then. Alejandra Alonso and Marta Ortega shortly will begin playing against Ara Martinez and Patti Yacuno. There we go then, all set for this encounter, this tie, this series to start. Marta Ortega gets us underway with her service. Tennis Center. Ooh. And, uh, Ana Martinez nearly takes my head off here in the commentary booth. <laughs> Miss hit, to say the least. Just waiting for uh, this ball to come back. Uh, sense absolutely flying. So if someone needed to go and fetch it. <laughs> yeah, you have to keep playing with the same balls. That is uh, part of the rules, part of the regulations. As you can see, quite a large shadow being cast over the court. behind Alonso, Yaguno, can she finish it off? No, she can't, Ortega nicely puts out a lob.
big slice of luck there. The backhand volley helped over. Maybe it was a bit of a commentator's curse yesterday when I think I was the one who said that uh, Vega and Alonso might be the best women's couple at this entire event. And then, of course, they went out and lost straight away. So maybe if I take it back now, they'll win this match. Martinez. And that is out from the young Spaniard. Alonso. Here comes Marta Ortega, and the approach shot is not a good one from Ana Martinez. So, first game goes to uh, Vegas. some of the highlights we've uh, seen so far. Just one game, but already uh, plenty to talk about, plenty to ingest. That was very good play, Marta Ortega. Nowhere to go there. Teddy forced to go off the glass and she keeps it in as well. Ortega's lob. Martinez goes high again. Ortega attacks and with a lot of success. Alejandro Alonso, Yaguno <laughs> was shaping up a smash. I was about to say that'd be very unusual. And a beautiful rulo from Araceli Martinez. I'm sure they'll be missing the uh, experience out there of Cata Tenorio, but Pati Yaguno still has it in absolute bucket loads.
save from Ortega. And again, yeah, we'll know. Ah, nice shot from Alonso. Dip down oh, just yeah. of, uh, over net. Out of the woods just yet, Ana Martinez and Patia Uno. Oof, and an unforced error. Well, a collector's item, that one. Almost never see Patia Uno make an unforced error like that. Goal points in there for break points of the match. Oh, and again, Adam Mar Martinez finding that same fence. Ortega, Martinez tried to get a, a racket on it. Perhaps it would have been uh, better to let that one run because Pationa was about to chase it. Love here, Alonso and Ortega. Having absolutely no issue on their serve game. There you go, a smash that hit the body of Ara Martinez. They all count. 2-1 Las Vegas. No breaks as of yet, just the one goal point. And let's cross over to the grandstand court because uh, that match between uh, Cancun and Miami is still very much uh, underway. Remember, Cancun already 1-0 to the good. And here are Sanya Gutierrez and Teo Zapata at the top of your screen serving for the match. Gutierrez, can see this one out. Here's the smash of Teo Tapata. That is 40 love, and those are four match points then for Cancun to close this out. And there it is. Game, set, and match. The Cancun Waves make it two wins in two days.
Yesterday they beat New York by two matches to one. And here they've already, they're already two games up against uh, the Miami Paddle Club, who've yet to win a single match, Miami. Yesterday they were beaten handsomely 3-0 by Toronto. Today they're 2-0 down against Cancun. A mixed double still to come there. Meanwhile, let's uh, focus back on what is happening at center court. Let's have a look at some of the highlights that we've just witnessed. It's uh, as predicted as we were previewing. All out attack from Ortega and Alonso. Caruno and Martinez just trying to hang in there. So far, they're doing a decent job. Pationa, the last player yet to serve. She will serve to try and tie things up at two games apiece. Stuff a little bit mixed up. Now, Martinez, I think she was looking to spring a surprise with that bajada, looking for the backhand of Alonso. Usually, with those in the position she was in, probably better off playing a lob. She didn't get her body shape right. Martinez has uh, has been aggressive as we are used to seeing from her. But now, of course, right as we sing her praises, committing the unforced error, the famous commentator's curse. Big slice of luck for Alejandra Alonso. That will count. And these are two more break points. Two break points for Las Vegas to take the lead of the match. They squandered one break point earlier. Up. Martinez goes backhand off glass. Nice take off the bounce from Ortega. Goes off glass again. Doing a lot of running here is Marta Ortega. Look at the way she's defending, the way she's hanging in there. Deep lob from Alonso. And again. Another take off the bounce from Marta Ortega, who goes forward, goes in for the kill. And finds the angle. How about that from Marta Ortega? On the backhand, she gets the break. 3-1 Vegas. And that's a beauty. That's the pick of the bunch so far. Oh, beautifully shaped, completely wrong-footed. Patiaguno. for Ortega, who has great reflexes here. Goes in for the kill, blocked by Martinez. And out it goes.
way out from Alonso there. 15-13, got to be careful not to give up their advantage straight away. again by Ara Martinez. She cannot muster the backhand block. Again, it's the combination of shots that's so hard to defend. You're being moved around so much, you need to have such good reflexes. it before the bounce it's a high high lob from Mara Martinez again Alonso needs to be quick to retake her position couldn't slow down in time and that's brilliant stuff from Mara Martinez look at Alonso here who ran to the nets but didn't slow down and therefore the block was uh, you need to slow your body down otherwise the the shot you hit is gonna be over hit almost always that split step just like in tennis nice smash from Alejandra Alonso to get us back to the goal point still a chance though for Arkansas to break back and get back into the match so much venom on it <laughs> the return is just as good a little bit awkward there from Ortega fake smash from Araceli Martinez and way out that time so both break points saved by Vegas it's four games to one they keep their breaks advantage as we go to the benches Back underway, four games to one, Las Vegas. This uh, opening match. Nice 
bandeja from Araceli Martinez. One thing I couldn't adjust in time. Nice chiquita from Ortega. I'll try and hit it past Araceli. Got a little bit too keen with the power. Started promising this serve game for Vegas, but Arkansas have done very well to adjust back as uh, Ortega cannot recover that smash. It's aggressive from Patiaguno, it's effective from Patiaguno. It's 4 2. Arkansas keep their serve. So had to let it fall. Couldn't take it out of the sky. Good backhand lob on the volley. Awkward for Martinez. Excellent block from Araceli Martinez now to deny Ortega the net. And the lob from Ortega just a bit too long. that time did Martinez <laughs> that's a smash Yaguno took it off Araceli kept alive though by Ortega <laughs> and that time Araceli went in for the kill great <laughs> fluid battle Yaguno and uh, Martinez Moving in unison, excellently played. That final take from Martinez. Taken completely in stride. Hey. Smash from Alonso. Oh, but the owner frustrated there. Forty thirty. Saves those. Hey. Yeah, no, the lob off the back wall. It's a shot she is incredibly comfortable with. again. Bit of a short one that from Martinez attacked by Ortega. Here she is the smash from Marta Ortega saved by Araceli Martinez though. Great footwork for her to recover that one. Leona tries to drop shot. Kita. And another one. 
Oh, and Batia Uno, so good. The heads up play from the veteran. And it's a goal point. Arkansas have a chance to break back. Smash, no one's getting to that one Stop. from Alejandra Alonso. Game. And that makes it uh, five yes, games Vegas to match. two. Nice uh, way to end Lead that goal on points. Las Vegas still in charge. Back underway here as uh, Pati Yaguno serves to stay alive in the first set in the name of Arkansas. That's a good start as well. Might seem like a, a big deficit but it's only a one break advantage really that uh, Las Vegas have and they got it quite early on in the set Well, from Patia on a one legged. Ortega. High low from Ana Martinez. Is that staying in? No, it's not. It's well out. 15, 10. If they're not careful, they can concede set points here. Oh. 
crucial point here at 30 all. Best of lobs from Ortega and Zalianso and Ortega are getting in each other's way a tad bit. Which is great news if you're an Arkansas fan. It's one of those shots from Ana Martinez. She knows exactly what she's doing there. That is meant to confuse her rivals. It sits down nicely. It's very well saved by Alonso. Rulo. Uno and on the bounce, Alonso. Game. Ortega said, Voy. As in, I got it. I didn't say take it anyway, put it in the net. 5 3 then. But now it's up to Marta Ortega to close the set out on her service. Shots from Patti Aruna. She's got her angles and geometry absolutely spot on. So that Marta Ortega was perhaps standing one or two paces too far to the left, too far to the middle. Well played now from Ortega. importance here to just close this thing out to not give your rivals the idea that they could be coming back into this thing smash off the back wall smash here from Alonso doesn't quite go out of the cage Ortega, beautiful again from Marta Ortega very confusing Often, it's about placement over power. You can paddle a powerful shot, you can cannon back off the wall and allow your rival back into the play. And a well placed shot can make all the difference. 40 15, three set points. Targeted here. Was that in? Was that out? It's given us in. That one from uh, Alejandro Alonso is out. A look from Alonso to the umpire as if she's saying, Are you sure? But it is 40 30. Oof. Time deflection off the net, and they're getting each other's way. Goal point. Goal point. Alejandra Alonso, but it doesn't fall. So, from three set points, they don't take any of them. The break for Arkansas, who are back in the match. One break apiece, unforced error from Alejandra Alonso. And they're back in it.
Yo, yo le he pasado dos veces ya por el medio, yo creo, ¿eh? Yo creo que ahí la hace dudar, ¿eh? Arkansas are back in this thing. They've broken back. And Araceli Martinez now serves to tie things up again at five games apiece. Three set points went begging for Las Vegas, who just couldn't close it out. Oh, lovely stuff from Marta Ortega. Again, first that backhand bajada. And the follow up volley onto the fence. That's textbook stuff from one of the best players in the world. Ooh, yeah, that looked as soon as it came off the racket. It was going to be a bit, a bit too strong. And love 30 now after all that hard work of getting that break back. Will it all be for nothing? Oh. Second serve as well for Ada Martinez. It's not looking good, Brett. Now and Pati Yaguno again. X marks the spot beautifully anticipated from Yaguno. So there you go, beautifully executed, 15, 40, three break points, three set points. Let's see if Vegas can close it out on their opponent's serve. Incredible save from Yaguno. How on earth did she scoop that one out 
And it was a great lob as well. And Adam Arcedi clobbers Ortega on the body, who immediately says, I want to return this goal point. Sixth set point then in total. Martinez, smash. Oh, and Ortega and Alonso almost clatter into each other. It is five Game. games all. Five all. I have to check if this net is still uh, or where it needs to be. So six set points that Las Vegas have uh, squandered. Again, Vegas are doing everything well in terms of getting opportunities to break, getting opportunities to close out the set. But it, when it actually comes to it, they seem to freeze up. They, they seem to forget how to execute, how to play the points out. from Yaguna is perfect behind the visibly frustrated Marta Ortega. Such a horrible player to play against with, and we mean that, of course, in the nicest possible way. That's the biggest compliment we, we can we can pay her. That she just always has an answer to everything. Ortega. ready for a low shot, but instead they play the high lob. Martinez making use of the fence. Great take from Ortega off the back wall. Resets with the lob. Oof, stays in just about. Oh, beautifully done. Off two walls, the backhand passed by the Aguno. Circus shot from Marta Ortega. Just go for power. Just made it uh, geometrically impossible to to save. And 
out it goes, Romana Martinez. So finally, Vegas are back on the board after three consecutive games from Arkansas. It's 6-5 Vegas. Let's see if they can break now to claim the set or if we're going to the tie break. Patia Uno will serve to take Arkansas into the tie break. Las Vegas can muster a very timely break here, but not with a return like that from Marta Ortega. Goes on to the side wall and out. How about that for a rulo though from Araceli Martinez, even better. Absolutely excellent stuff. So Ortega and it dips down beautifully as well for Marta Ortega. The weights just absolutely nailed down there. High lob brought down with the bandeja. Shot there. It's a stuff of beauty. 
from Araceli Martinez with yet another highlight play. We're going to the tie break. Six games all. So a tie break to separate the two sides. Araceli Martinez, she was brilliant for a couple points in a row there, but that's very much an unforced error on her side. Good take, early take for Martinez. Rulo out from Yauno, so there's the first mini break. It's advantage, it's advantage uh, Vegas. It's not the first time. They've had the upper hand and not been able to convert. from Alejandra Alonso, oh. and that is out. Yeah, that was out from Padilla Uno. Ortega chased it all the way, just in case. That wasn't necessary. 3-0 then to Las Vegas. So smashes on their taking over here in the tie break. Where was that for the last couple of games? 4-0 Vegas. Smash this time by Ortega. Mighty. 5 0. Dominant showing here in the tie break. It's so odd, isn't it, when two teams cannot be separated in the first 12 games and then you get to the tie break and suddenly one team completely rolls over the other. Breaks just completely different. Smacked out of the cage, well anticipated by Alonso. Six nil, six set points for Vegas.
mentioned it before, but uh, normally in other, uh, in other competitions, you're not allowed to talk to your players as the coach during the tie break, but here in the PPL, you are, just so people are aware. Slightly different circumstances. Again, six set points. They've had six before the tie break already. Having lost this one, that this will now be then their eighth set points. That is out from Ara Martinez. So finally, they need the eight set points to take it. But the Las Vegas smash have taken the opening set. Cuando bajarlo. Exacto. Y a la velocidad que hay que jugarla. Exacto. Teniendo eso claro, o sea, hay que también no buscar de más. Arriba, 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 arriba. arriba, arriba. arriba hay unas bolas que hemos buscado un pelín de más. Que, ¿Sabes? Esa mía de la verja. Yo cuando, cuando antes nos hemos roto, he tirado tres globos, entonces ya cuando a la cuarta, a la quinta, la dejaban tal, podíamos entrar, pero que no tenga. Back with the uh, second set of this encounter. Las Vegas Smash needing eight set points to take the opening frame, but eventually they got it. Nice take of uh, two glasses from Ortega. Keeps this one in as well. That one just lacking a bit of legs from Alejandra Alonso. And uh, welcome back. Excuse me, welcome back, Ceci Reiter, next to me. You've been watching the match uh, from afar, Ceci. Yes, I was, Nico. It was a bit changing match, you know, because. Uh, I thought that uh, Marta and uh, Alejandra were controlling absolutely the first set. They were 5-2 in, in the beginning of the game. And then finally, Patty and Araceli, they find a way to come back and force the, the tie break. As usually, Patty has a lot of resources no, to, to come back. 
something quite impressed with her. Ooh. Wow, from yeah, the floor she Mart tried. Uh, she slipped and fell. But I have been impressed by Ana Martinez, who has you know, made a couple of unforced errors here and there, but also has uh, made a lot of, especially that sort of parallel rulo to the fence of Alonso. She's been very effective with those. Yes, that's the advantage you have when you are used to play, perhaps in this case, in this case for in the left side of court. No, she has that ruler very, very trained. And in the moment, she changed the side of the court. She has another angle, but the, the shot is the same. When you are a specialist playing at the right side, you don't have that, that shot. Ah, well left by Alonso, who's going to attack that, but then uh, computed that that was going out. And is she, perhaps she she may have committed uh, many mistakes, no, in the first set, Araceli, but she also received much more balls. Mm. Obviously, Marta and, and Alejandra are trying to push her, to put some pressure Very over cool. Araceli, because they know that Patty doesn't feel that kind of pressure yeah. at all. There's a mistake from Araceli uh, right on cue, and it's given Alonso and Ortega two break points to take the lead of the second set straight away. Yes, they want to start the same way. As the beginning, they know that perhaps if they, they push the accelerator, they can get the advantage, advantage again. They don't get the first uh, break points. Let's see how they do on the second. Marta Ortega again wanting to receive it. Beautiful change uh, of direction again. from Araceli Nico. Araceli Martinez again finding that parallel past the left side of Alejandra Alonso. Done it time and again today in this match. Wrong foots are completely. And it's 1 0 Arkansas. Two more break points that go begging for Vegas. court Marta Ortega to serve they couldn't take the first chance to, uh, to get advantage in the second set good response from Araceli beautiful angle wow. from Martita the passing shots from Marta Ortega opening up the angles Found a lot of joy <laughs> with her bajadas today, Marta Ortega. Yes, mostly enough. with uh, the forehand, but that time using, the, or uh, excuse me, mostly with the backhand, that time the forehand. Yes, but this time it was absolutely unpredictable because it was impossible to see where she was going to play that ball. The sun casting very long shadows now here in uh, San Diego. using every single inch of real estate there. Alejandra Alonso to make it 30 love. Oh, that's going way out from Yaguno. 40 love. Vega and uh, Alonso in a good moment right now. Okay. 
clever decision making there for Alejandra Alonso hitting Yaguna on the body as she was uh, progressing wow. forwards. that she dubbed, you know, in the first time she was going to play a kind of a smash bajada, then at the last moment she decided to put it in the angle. The ball was a little bit down, then... Get back to Alonso. Yeah. Time deflection for Ortega. Alonso lends a helping hand. Is that staying in? Is that staying Oof. in? It is. I thought that ball was going out. And now Martita from the left side. Beautiful. Ah, Marta Ortega again, <laughs> completely bamboozling Ara Martinez on her forehand. And Martita playing at a great level, Nico, showing us all her confidence today. They know that this could be a very important victory for the team. Vegas again yesterday, losing 3-0 in their matchup against the, the Flow Rider Goats. We need to get a dub on the board here, and that's out from Ana Martinez. So love 40, four break points, Vegas. And again, many problems for the Erkinse Matrix on their service. <laughs> Nicely held by Alonso. Big smash from Ara Martinez, drop shots. I think that's always gonna get there. Lob over Ara Martinez. Deep shot. From Alonso. Alonso holding that cross court with Patti. Looking for the angle. I love Martinez. Brought down fiercely by Ortega once, twice. Three time is the charm for Marta Ortega, who just kept on going. And it's advantage Vegas, a love game break for Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso.
Alejandro Alonso, tu turno. Vegas will be liking their odds right now to win this uh, match as its advantage in the second set after winning the first for Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso. Just mustering a, uh, a love game on their opponent's serve. Yes, they just need to keep their uh, own service games safe. Oh, I think that's skated off the back wall a little bit awkwardly for Alonso. Not a lot that Alonso could do about that. Nice serve. 15 all. 15 all. Easy point for Pegas. Nice love from Patty to gain the net. Good attack from Mara. Ortega, they're asking a lot of Marta Ortega, but so far she has uh, a reply to all the questions they're asking her, but that's too low. That's uh, to keep that straight away. She says uh, she uh, couldn't see because of the sun there. Either way, it's 15.30 and uh, that could be trouble. Yes, uh, it was not necessary need to look to, uh, for that angle. It was not an easy shot. from Alonso, blocked by Yaguno. Nice block as well there from Mara Martinez, who knew she was in a compromised position. Alonso plugs the gap, and they get in each other's way. Not the first time we've seen that. And it's 15-40, Nico. Three break points the other way, but that is not the first time we've seen Ortega and Alonso getting in each other's way. Yes, they are. They don't play together usually. No, that's why they perhaps they have that kind of uh, misunderstanding in the middle. stays in or it goes over rather for Alonso yes and another save fires at an angle yeah, will not. it's pegged back Alonso will hit this oh, places it in the middle Ortega can attack Alonso can attack Alonso will smash and that is one break point less to worry about good decision from Alonso surprising Araceli with that smash moment she saw that Araceli was almost with her back on the back wall, she changed the speed to win the point. 30-40. Oh. And again, this time into Araceli's shot. Yes. Well, they all count. So it's oh, uh, wow. a gold point. That would be Patti Uno returning this. Yes, there she is, sticking up her uh, racket. Patiaguna tried to open up an angle there, but only found the net. So all break points go begging for Las Vegas, or for uh, Arkansas, rather. Vegas stays up. Yes, and they lose their chance now to level the game again. 
to recover that break. So Las Vegas still leading 3-1 in the second set. But they are suffering, Nico, eh? much more from uh, what we have expected after seeing them uh, in the first set. I think that Patty will uh, retire. Yes, yes. Oh, she's feeling something. Yeah, she's hurt. I wasn't sure. But yes. yeah, she's approaching the net. It's, and it's that means... It's her knee. Yeah, she's feeling the knee. She's she doesn't want to take a risk here. No, she is having some problems there. If she's quitting, she should uh, have felt something, Nico. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah, the all right, end of it's the game match. over. All right, so uh, the Las Vegas Smash win then. Of course, not the way you want to win, but it's a win nonetheless. We hope it's nothing serious for Patti Auna. While well, she's able to walk off the court herself, that's always a good wow. sign. Yes, uh, it's never, it's never good to have a win like this when a. when another mate has to retire yeah. because of an injury. But uh, if Patty take, uh, took that decision, it's because she's not feeling well, Nico. Yeah, of course, she doesn't want to take any risk. She doesn't she's want to the injury. We could look at her face that uh, she's very worried about her knee and the gesture she's doing trying to push with her knee. <laughs> what we don't know if, if she got retired or if she had asked for some attention. Well, by the way, she hugged her opponents and everything like that. I would say that she is retired from the match and I think I heard the umpire just saying it as well. So that's an injury forfeit. Yes, yes indeed. Yes, uh, the indeed. Las Vegas Smash are the winners there, so they get their first win of the week. Of course, not in the way they would have wanted, but a win is a win at the end of the day. So it finishes at 7 6 3 1. And of course, first and foremost, we hope we hope uh, that she has a speedy recovery, Patti Yaguno. Having said that, though, let's have a look at the Adidas Smash of the match. This one from uh, Alejandra Alonso pulling the trigger here. Mighty smash, of course. A very willing and capable smasher is young Alejandra Alonso. There's one of the many examples of exactly that. Let's see if we can hear from them. Let's see if we can cross over court side. Marta Ortega and Alejandra Alonso are standing by. but you have to also give a lot of credit to the ones that had to be able to battle forth and compete as well. Also, we wish the best in terms of recovery and hopefully everything goes well. Congratulations, first and foremost, antes que nada, felicitaciones por la victoria. Of course, congratulations on the win. It looked like it was a close one until the end. Today, we just have to hope that it's nothing uh, serious for Patti. It's a pleasure to watch her, and it's a pleasure to uh, play against her. And I genuinely hope that it's nothing serious because uh, I have a lot of love for her and nothing but kind words. Of course, that was a spectacle watching her play. Everything the best for her. Everybody give her a hand. She's, of course, a true legend of the game. And what she's been able to do, everyone, um, of course, as the bleachers, and of course, we competed with, have been able to really appreciate everything you've been able to do and wish you the best. 
por su parte, ¿qué, qué es lo que uno ve que, que fue lo mejor para ustedes en este partido? Eh, bueno, creo que... And it's returning to the match. I think uh, we're adapting us bit by bit to each other. Of course, it's difficult. Yesterday, we had a tough match today as well. But uh, we're but, uh, happy to uh, fight Yesterday's match was at her difficult. Today's match was difficult as well. But we've been able to come through. We've been able to work our, our kinks out, if you will. Haven't played often together, but it's been working out so far. Y hablando de eso, no jugar juntos, y se ve que que la química de a poco va va juntándose. And the chemistry, bit by bit, is improving, I think, for you. Mucho para el futuro. And it will only improve. Me gustaría también repetir las palabras de Ale, de Sergio, de Mora, de Patti. Creo que todos la queremos un montón. La verdad es que todos la hemos visto desde que éramos chiquititas y para nosotras pues es un ejemplo. Disfrutamos mucho de verla. Since we were very very little, we were watching us play, and she's been she's an idol of ours. So, so we wish her all the best, of course. Alejandra es el futuro, pero más bien presente. I think Alejandra is the future, but also the present. Poder estar con ella, poder disfrutarla, poder vivir. Pues esa. It's a luxury for me to play alongside her. Bueno, yo también un poco, pero mucho más, mucho más joven que yo, mucho más, digamos, más loca, ¿no? Y a mí me gusta mucho jugar con gente así que se atreve, que es valiente, que puede jugar una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo que es una pareja para estar un poco. Y creo Future. She's also the present. She's the real deal now. She's the one that is, is showing a lot of bravery, a lot of courage, a lot of character in, in every facet of the game that, that she's evolving in. And for her, it's an absolute pleasure to be a part of a team with her. So, again, a great victory, great performance. Congratulations. Felicidades, muchachas. Y que le vaya muy bien el resto del torneo. Okay? Yes. So don't go away. We still have a lot more action. We still have lots more action here in San Diego in the Pro Paddle League. Don't go away.